What's up, y'all? It's now Sunday. Uh, the tuner guy came over yesterday. Basically, what he was doing was, you know, loading different maps on my car to get appropriate air to fuel ratio because my exhaust manifold studs all need to be really cold because they're all to shit. And he couldn't get an accurate air to fuel ratio reading because I don't have like a wide band or anything to tell him or a fuel pressure gauge or anything like that. So he didn't get my uh, appropriate fuel pressure. But somehow he managed to do it. The car stayed at a constant out of 1K. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but if you did, I posted an Insta snap of it. And you know the car was idling fine. I drove the car on the block like four to five times so you can get up You know get the feel for the car I mean it, it jumped like when you try to cruise with the car it'll like woo, woo, woo. But I guess you got to constantly give it gas in order to go so I don't know man I don't know where I'm at right now. I filmed this video earlier like I was I got pissed off, but I filmed it earlier, I turned the car on, I was like, hey, yeah, guys, the car turned on and everything, and it wouldn't turn on, like, it'll just click, 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 then it'll come on, but you gotta keep feeding it gas, and no, guys, it's not the distributor, I know that distributor can cause limp mode or uh, safe mode ECU, but I don't know what it is, man, I think it's just the damn ECU itself, uh, I guess it's the, the base map he kept loading on, because he couldn't get an accurate reading, so, I don't know, man, he kept trying different things, and one of them seemed to work, and, you know, I wasn't running lean, I wasn't running, I wasn't running a little rich, because I backfired, but, it was fine. Now it's like the car doesn't want to turn on all the way. Like it sounds like shit, man. Like I'll try it right now. Let's see if I can get it. You see, it it's, sounds like shit, but the car at least turns on. It's at a super low idle. I'll show you guys. It's at a shitty idle. It vibrates because of the motor mounts I have in here. And it's just shitty, man. It's really shit, dude. I'm just giving up on this car. It sucks, man. It sucks that I keep having these Integra problems. I don't want to get rid of my car because I'm not a person to give up on anything. Like, I don't like giving up on people. I don't like giving up on cars. Like, it's just the type of person I am. I want to fix something, you know, to say that I fixed it or, you know, I never gave up on it. But, man... It sucks, dude. I only had this car for a year and a half. I'm on my fourth engine, and I'm still having shitty problems with this car. Like, I, I don't want to get rid of it. I, I don't care what people say. Oh, Zach, your car's a piece of shit. Get rid of it, silly. I don't want to, but what can I do, man? I'm losing hella money up because of this car. I, I can't keep dumping money in it if it's not going to fix anything. I already wasted a lot of money on a base map that doesn't even fucking work. So, I don't know, man. It's just stressful. I'm sad about it. I'm mad about it. Um. Yeah, the tuner guy told me that, you know, in order to fix the base map issue, I gotta get my coolant temperature sensor uh, rewired back into the head so it can send, you know, the right appropriate signal to the, the temp sensor or whatever. And I gotta fix my exhaust manifold studs, wiring the VTAC. I'm burnt out, bro. I know this video probably sucks and it's hella negative and like, you know, I don't want people to give up on their builds if they're having problems because I always tell people like, don't give up on your build, man. You just keep building, man. That's what cars do. Cars are the devil. But I don't know right now, man. I don't know if I should sell it, part it out. Uh, I don't know, man. Like. I want to keep the car like I, I don't want to contradict myself I'm like oh don't sell your car then I end up selling like a week later but it sucks man you got no help you know Randy comes over to help him the best he can he's like the, my only like true friend around this pick I don't really fuck with all these fake ass niggas over here Randy's my boy you know what I'm saying he try to help him the best he can but you know this is something that we both can't figure out you know so it's like I can't get his help on this one but um it's whatever man hopefully I can get this thing fixed and uh bring you guys some good content but for now i probably ain't gonna post shit because i can't man the car doesn't drive i don't want to make any trash videos nobody watch my shit anyway but you know i want to bring you guys still trash videos in case i do get like a shout out by tj hunt or that dude in blue or that's all the people i really fuck with on youtube that makes car videos or might films that's my boy or vtech 21 big murph yeah i check them people out i just said man there's some cool ass dudes Check out their builds. They're pretty nice. I'm pretty sure most of y'all know Adam LZ and TJ Hunt and that dude in blue. But check out Myton Films and VTech21. Those are the homies right there, man. Those are the homies. So yeah, man, that's it for this video, I guess. I'm going to go inside and play Battlefield and cry. So I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Hopefully. If I still want to do YouTube and shit, but I don't know. I'd be tripping. I'm going to catch y'all later, man. Thank you guys for watching. You like the shirt? Locals only. Zip ties. 15% off. Use code ZOSH316. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.